Good morning. Welcome to a hot boy summer. Or some may say a hot girl summer, but I'm taking it over. I'm reshaping it. I'm rebuilding it. I'm building it from the bottom up. Hot boy summer. And that's how it's going to go. So the first thing I'm doing today is going to the gym. And I just want you all to know that you do not have to go to the gym. You're all beautiful. But someone said my legs were built like me did chopsticks last night. So I think I should maybe pop in there really quick. Let's go. Here's my dog. Hi, Bella. Say hi, Bella. <laughs> Oh my god, I wish I could explain how, why does it look like that? I don't know how to work a camera. Not to be like, oh my god, I just don't know how to work a camera. Like, I'm goofy, I'm a goofy goober. But I literally don't. Like, when the lighting's bad, I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I'm sure I can fix that, but I don't know how. And also, getting you guys up here is going to be such a struggle. But I'll do it. <sighs> oh, that was not. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. Buckle up. Like, it's literally hotter than, like, Satan's, like, I'm not even kidding. I feel like I'm gonna disintegrate. And it's just, like, am I opposed to disintegrating? But I don't want to, like, indulge in it. Anyways. Ah! Guys, stop. Like, can you guys calm down? No, calm down. Calm down. You guys are getting super rowdy and like I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys are getting a little rambunctious and this trip like won't work unless we all like cooperate. I don't get why people like throw their furniture like to the side of the road for people to grab. That feels wrong. That feels like you're like putting away with your mess by throwing it to the universe and I don't really appreciate that. Take it to a different place. Take it to Goodwill. Take it somewhere. Don't just leave it to shambles on the side of the road because a deer could eat that and it'd be literally your fault. So I can't play music when you guys are here. Inconvenience, like you guys literally could leave, I guess, but whatever. Um, so I guess I'll sing. I can be your woman. I just got a bug, get into it. I just got a bug, get into it. I don't want a bug. Yeah. Love that one. That one's great. Quick question When you guys go on vacation, do you not like, you know, because I literally don't. And I actually like, it's getting concerning. I went on like a seven day trip and I didn't go until day six. And it was like, like painful. Like I was gripping the walls. <laughs> like I was like, someone called Dr. Phil and Dominic stuff. I'm like literally about to hit a pedestrian. And like, I'm not going to look at him right now. <laughs> Hi. Oh, bye bye. I don't have parking again, it's literally gonna be minor phobic and I don't really, I don't, I don't see another reason as to why. Minor phobia is literally tearing a nation apart and we just sit and observe. Uh, and again, no parking for me. And why? Because I'm, oh, there's one. All right, I'm at the gym. Wish me luck. Look, I don't really like it when I'm there, but when I'm gone, I'm like, oh, I kind of like myself. So that's kind of why we're here. The car's like really hot. Like this, the car's like, and I feel weird leaving you guys in here, but you guys are gonna stay. All right, don't be, don't be scary. All right, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna go work out, all right? You guys chill here. All right, bye. I'm back! Oh my god, I missed you guys. I put my protein powder in like Tupperware, so when I get in the car after my workout, I just gotta pour it in. And... Alexa, play the middle by Led Zeppelin. All right, now we're gonna go get coffee, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking a large. Buckle up, Munchkin. Boop to the scoop. Boop to the doop to the doop to the scoop. Don't hit an old person. Don't do it. All right, so now I'm gonna go get a coffee. In this moment, I'm thinking, okay, do I need to spend money? Do I need to do it? And in my head, I'm thinking, no. But let's also get a large. You know, so we're gonna spend extra money. So that's what we're doing. God. <laughs> Ugh. All right, the hot boy summer day continues. And it's only, it's 11.30. Okay, I swear it was like literally 10. Okay. Um, whenever I drive by like the police station with a camera propped up, I feel like it's illegal. I don't think it is. You know, I'm not like a lawyer, but like a law physicist. What is going on? I just crossed the yellow line. I gotta put this away because now I am breaking laws. Breaking laws and tan lines. 
Eh. Hot boy summer. Now let's make breakfast. Dave's color bread will change your life. Don't get the big one, get the small one. I usually do two of these, but they were out of the small and they've been out for like literally two weeks. So Whole Foods, get your bag up. What I'm thinking to do today is I wanna, um, so I'm gonna make breakfast, eat that obviously, cause like why would I make it and not eat it? Um, then I wanna, I think I wanna go thrifting today. One thing I should title this video is how basic can I be in one video? I have coffee, I went to the gym, and I'm gonna go thrifting. I also think I'm gonna be a healthness guru, because I think I can do that. I think I could be a health guru, like post like cooking videos that I just um, didn't make myself. Go Hannah, go Hannah, go Hannah, go Hannah, go Hannah. Look how much onion I'm putting on literally like each egg, like this is for each egg. I'll see you when my food's ready. Oh my god, look. Look, isn't that beautiful? I, I literally eat this every day. So good, so good. And with Cholula's, amazing. This is not sponsored, I mean obviously it's not sponsored, but this is not sponsored. Cholula's makes everything like 30 times better. It's so good. Mm. This is a hot summer meal. Hot summer meal right here. All right, but I'm gonna eat this off camera because this is not a mukbang channel and this is getting, I'm uncomfortable. BRB. Okay, so the funniest thing about the situation we're currently in is that I'm reading. And the only thing that's funny about this is that I made a video 30 minutes ago basically saying that everyone who reads isn't real. And here we are, breaking my own stereotype. And I'm gonna read. This isn't exactly out of free will, I just literally have nothing else to do with my time. And I refuse to just like scroll on TikTok. Um, this is not because Emma Chamberlain said that. I'm actually speaking for my own truth. Before I go thrifting, I'm gonna obviously shower because, uh oh, stinky. All done. Interesting fact, I don't even wear robes. Never wear robes, just wearing it so you don't see me naked. Don't see me nude, for free. <laughs> you know, I never do that anyways. Also, do y'all clean your ears? Y'all better be cleaning your ears. I don't wanna hear no grimy earlobes up in here. Any song, oh, I can't hear you, clean them. And also, you should never clean them with um, Q-tips. I am, but I don't think you should. Um, what I was thinking about in the shower amidst my rinsing is like, what are guys supposed to wear in the summer? And what I mean is like cool stuff. Like I, I wear shorts all the time, don't get me wrong. But I mean, that! What I mean is, um, like, I feel like guys, the only cool, like, below the waist kind of apparel are jeans. And it's like 100 degrees out, and I don't want to wear jeans, and I see people in LA, everywhere, by the way, using this. Wait. Um, as I was saying, I see people in LA still wearing, like, jeans with everything, boys. And it's like, aren't y'all hot? Can't we adjust for the summer weather? So I'm debating right now, do I wear jeans in 100 degree heat and pretend like I'm fine when I'm not fine? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. They're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they don't understand. This robe's hot too, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I'm literally perspiring. <laughs> I'm like the Wicked Witch of the West. Except I live on the east. I'll see you when it's time to get ready. I'm about to pass out. Actually, it literally is time to get ready. I don't know why I acted like I had other things to do. Okay, so again, we've already talked about the whole jean thing, and I'm not really feeling it. I'm not really feeling jeans, but it's like, Ugh. but that's what I'm supposed to do. So hard being a man, a man, oppressed in society. It's a joke. Um, I could wear jeans and like a shirt that, oh, I unplugged her because I thought she was stalking me. So never mind. Y'all, I'll just see when I figure this out. This is embarrassing that I'm overthinking this. BRB! Okay, so I got dressed. I don't look very cool whatsoever. I'm literally just wearing Tommy Hilfiger shirt, tennis shorts, and then New Balances. Um, and you know, the goal of every day is to make everybody that sees me fall madly in love. And some days the chances of that are lower. Today it's a little lower. But I could always tell them that I love to knit and maybe it'll go up again. Is that true? No. But a little white line makes a little heart bigger. So. Let's go thrifting. Hot boy summer. I'm picking up my friend and then you can you can meet my friend when I pick them up if I make it there. Because at the moment, oh my god, Arkansas. I didn't you guys like I didn't know people from Arkansas existed. Aw, you learn something new every day. Unless you're dumb, then you don't learn anything. This is Sadie. Hi guys! <laughs> We're going, to a thrift, we're going to a thrift store, it closes in an hour. 
We're listening to Doja Cat. I, um, I've been drinking the same coffee since 10 a.m. Yeah, my favorite type of coffee is like melted iced coffee. Oh, fun fact. We'll talk about Timothy Chalamet came to our town. Yeah, no, he's still here. My town. My city. My city. He's filming. My city. To the. And I like, so I was gonna collab with him just like, cause I think yeah. he needs some like exposing and stuff. Right. But um, you know, like my manager was like, there's not much time like left Like a, like in a your combined schedule. meet and greet it, kind of? Well, no, not that. Like I just want to give him like a jump start in his like career and Well, yeah, stuff. but like if you were to do a combined meet and greet, like then all your fans could like be exposed to him. And I love like using my platform to help small, like right. small like creators. Small creators, small yeah. Creators. Cause he's cause like, he I love his work. He's done great things for like, the children's book community. Yeah, no, he has the it factor. I just think he needs that. Like Dr. Boost. Seuss and him, like same aura. Mm -hmm, for sure. Without like the racism. Oh, I love the world when I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a text. You got a text? It was probably your mom. It's Sometimes I think about crossing the yellow line to see like what would they do? Like would they swerve out or would they just accept Oh my god, the yeah, that actually happened to a teacher at my school with this like new one dollar vibe. I'm really sorry actually. Oh, but it hit a nerve. Really just hit No pun intended, I'm like serious. LAX. Hopped up the plane at LAX with my dream and my cardigan. I thought a cardigan was a shirt. So it is like a sweater. So how do you put your dreams in your, oh, it's like a metaphor. Like, no, your dreams and your cardigan. It's like just- I thought it was dreams in your cardigan. Hopped up the plane at LAX, LAX with, with the dreams in my cardigan. With it's probably Ann because Ann doesn't make sense. Because when I ever heard Ann, I thought of like a briefcase, but then I realized the cardigan was not a briefcase. Like Paddington Bear, like waddling over. Like, I got my dreams in my cardigan. Literally, there was some lyrical miss out there. Yeah, I think Miley just had a little. I think Miley had a rough Slow. day. You know, the wrecking ball might have hit the skull. I think a wrecking ball. I always thought that, like, I think we were in a house conversation. The CS chandelier was like a wrecking ball moment. Like, I'm gonna swing from the chandelier, but it's like about her wanting to kill her. Oh my god, I was like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Be rambunctious, see ya, but it was literally about like, oh, I should go right here. Yeah, no, you definitely should. And then, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yep, oh, mm -hmm. yep, 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 oh, dumb ways to die. I love that game. I would like kill my dumb mm -hmm. way. You would kill your dumb way? Mm. Eep, continue. So that's not helpful. <laughs> Continue opposed to just swerving off the road. Continue. Okay, we'll see you when we're there. Bye. Okay, so change of plan. Every thrift store in literally the United States is closed. And we waited outside for like 10 minutes and no one came to let us in the one that was open. So now we're at Urban. Um, I hate Urban, but you know, alas. It looks like a church. I wet my plans. Like who goes to Urban and gets a plain shirt? that you could probably have your grandma knit for you, even though my grandma is dead, so. And then I went to get dinner. Um, I didn't tell you that because I keep secrets. I'm lying to you and I'm a horrible person and you should probably X on me from this planet. Bon appetito. What are you doing? And then went to dinner again because we have no concept of money. We're stupid and Okay, y'all. So the last part of Hot Boy Summer, the night's running thin, the night's running young, is a Hot Boy dinner. You know what that means? That means Hot Boy eating dinner. Ugh. I'm gonna give you a fit check. So I know it's kind of giving, like, Country Club White Boy, Martha's Vineyard-esque, but I'm here for it. I got this shirt. I thrifted this shirt. Um, it's a really nice, like, look at that, like, Ralph Lauren, like, polo, like, and I got it for five dollars, cuz, bottom on a budget, baby. Woo! I don't wear shoes in the house, but to um to give the full vision, I'm gonna do it for a second. It's kind of gross when I think about it because I stepped in urine in these at the airport yesterday, but like, so before I go, all I gotta say is um. Do me fun!
Okay, that's all. I'll see you guys at dinner. And then that's it. That's the video. A hot boy summer day vlog is over. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all super so much. You guys are super awesome and I love you. You should definitely follow my Instagram and subscribe to this channel if you want. But like I don't tell people what to do. Except now do it. Uh, and that's all. I'll give you a hug. That's my arm. That's like my sleeve. I wouldn't put you in my armpit. That would be gross. But um, that's all. Thank you for watching. Thank you.